All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Gabe. Uh, I'm a PhD student at UC Berkeley in computer science. I've been programming for uh, a little over 12 years now. Uh, so uh, I'm looking forward to doing this challenge. Um, OK, so we've got the, uh, the challenge here in one window, and then I've got the P5 editor open in the other one. Uh, so the challenge, back in the 1970s, computers were not sophisticated enough to represent pictures on their screens. The only way to make an image back then was to creatively piece together symbols found on your computer's keyboard. These primitive images are collectively referred to as ASCII art, which refers back to the standard computer scientists uh, used to discuss each symbol on your keyboard in a consistent way. Here's examples of really complex ASCII art, Azira and Dwight. Um, so write a program that you need in order to recreate the following ASCII art. Okay, so... In terms of this task, so we read the whole thing, um, and we have to write a program that's going to print uh, that sleeping cat. Uh, so how are we going to do this? So we're in P5. This is JavaScript. Um, so we can execute this code so we can sort of see what's going on. And this just prints our canvas out. So I think the way, probably the simplest way to approach this would be to uh, basically print out each line one at a time. So just sort of do it from top to bottom, the top of the cat to the bottom of the, or top of the image to the bottom of the image. Um, okay, so uh, I think, okay, how are we going to do that? Uh, so uh, it's P5, so in the draw method is what's going to do um, drawing. Well, actually, uh, it's just ASCII art. We're not actually drawing anything on the on the canvas. So I think we can probably just do like a console.log. Um, just do a quick test here just to make sure. Uh, okay, and that, yeah, that prints, prints out that at the, at the bottom. Actually, if I put it in setup, then that should, I think it should just do it once. Okay, yeah, so okay. So I'll, I'll write sort of lines in setup, I think, and then it'll just do it once, and that'll be easy to debug. Uh, okay, so... Let's figure out this line by line. Um, and I can just sort of like, you know, take my best shot at this and see how close we can get it. So this looks like, you know, five Zs, and then, you know, maybe three spaces, a pipe character, backslash, and then a bunch more spaces. Let me expand this out. Mm. Then two underscores and then like a bunch more and then okay maybe that looks like part of it so if we do a second line then this will go underneath that first one um, and because it'll it's gonna print it out all sort of one by one so if I want it to move over and have it be underneath that I can just sort of draw it inside the editor yeah I can draw it inside the editor, and then I can sort of debug it that way. So I don't even necessarily need to run the code. Um, but now I'm just trying to go oh, the next line over. So that's a forward slash, and then a comma, then a back tick, then a period, then a dash, then a quote, then another, oh, then another back tick, then another quote. Got to remember to delete them because it'll sometimes put in two. Um, and then, uh, okay, okay. So I had made a little bit of a mistake on that first one. So that's the pipe character, and then the forward slash, and then we probably have after that quote. Then there's the underscore. So you can sort of see my technique here is I'm trying to write out the lines that have more uh, in them, and then I try to build the other lines on top of bottom uh, based on those. I have an underscore, comma, 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 dash, dash, comma, comma, underscore. Okay. And then that slash starts under that second comma. So we'll do that. And then I think a dash, and then two semicolons, and then a comma. Uh, looks like there is also a dash under that. No, that's a period, and then an underscore under that one. Okay. 
Then the next line, so we're going to make sure uh, that all, all the console.log commands end with a semicolon. So we'll just put that, set that next one up. Do the third line of the cat, which is eight. So we're going to start that just to the left of the backslash, comma, for a dash move over until we're under the first quote, and then we do a parenthesis, space, then another parenthesis, then an underscore, and then we're going to move under until we're under that, uh, that underscore, do a dot, semicolon, dot, and then the open parenthesis mark, and then, looks like, oh, looks like this is, uh, this is the last line, cool. So that looks like it's a, a quote, three dashes, another two quotes, open to see underscore, forward slash, dot, underscore, close parenthesis, dash, quote, get rid of the second one, parenthesis, underscore, forward slash, no, backslash, underscore, uh, close parenthesis. Um, oh, I didn't, I don't have the tail there, uh, so that has to go under, uh, so I have a back tick under that first s semicolon, then a quote, and then a dash, and another quote. And so now, if I, do I want to move that, it needs to be over one? Yeah, that needs to be over one. Okay. And I can print. And yeah, I think that's pretty close. The characters here are a little bit closer together. Um, looks like some of this is not there. So two commas and then an underscore. And there's a backslash then a dash. So that backslash didn't show up. That's kind of weird. Wonder if so. Sometimes, yeah. Oh, that's a little annoying. So I guess for this. So sometimes, putting a backslash uh, means that uh, the the thing after it means something different. Um, so like on some computers, you can put a backslash and then an A, and then it makes a bell sound. Uh, which uh, is not what we want here, but I think for each of the backslashes where it's going sort of uh, from the top left to the bottom right, we have to put an extra one there, and that seems to make it work. Uh, yeah. All right, so now I have two slashes, and then that makes the, the little feet show up. Okay. Yeah, so there we go. That looks just about right. Like, we can't write any tests or anything like that, so I just sort of have to eyeball it. Uh, but that looks pretty close. Yeah, that was fun.